Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you found me. My name is Andrea and today we are going to talk about text to world connections. Now, if you have any thoughts or new ideas, drop them in the comments below. And if you feel moved to do so, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, educators want to make sure that our readers have a firm grasp with text to text and text to self connections before introducing this new one. This skill is called text to world connections. Now remember, reading connections have three jobs. They want to help us make sense of what we're reading. They want to keep us entertained and wanting to read more and more. And they are wanting us to help improve our retaining and recalling skills. So a text to world connection is a connection between a book we are reading and something going on across the world. We want to make sure that we are differentiating between text to text and text to self connections and what the goal of text to world connections are, which is with text to text and text to self connections, we are making a connection with the book and something having to do in our own personal space. With text to world connections, we want to broaden that scope of connection. We want to make our connection strictly between the book and something going on with the world. Now that can be maybe um, an element of nature. It can be about endangered animals. It can be about history or people, past or present. It can be a current event, something going on with the book that you're reading and something going on in the world. Our educators want to utilize the news, media, and video to help find that connection between the book and the world. To do this, we want to train our readers to think Hmm, this book reminds me of whatever's happening in the world, or this book is very similar or different to this that's happening in the world. One mistake that readers might make when they are first practicing this skill is they want to connect it to themselves. For example, if I look at the, a family in this book, I might try to think, how is this family connected to me? That would be text to self. If I'm reading a story about a family that lived long ago, let's say they're nomadic or they are hunters and gatherers, the text to world connection that I want my readers to make is that maybe this family is very different from families today, like farmers in different areas of the world that are not nomadic. They are more gatherers and farmers. They raise livestock, they stay put. That can be a great text to world connection. For all of you dinosaur fanatics, another text to world connection I can make is if I'm studying about dinosaurs, I can make a text to world connection about maybe fossils that are being found around, around the world. Maybe I can start researching which type of animals are found where. And if you're thinking, which book in my library can help me make a text to world connection with my reader, look no further than your science center. If you're reading about a book on, on volcanoes, you can look up volcanoes and or other elements of nature that are happening in different places around the world. Two more examples that I have. Christmas is here and somewhere in the world right now. With this book, it is about a family and how they celebrate Christmas. Well, a text to world connection can be going and around the world and seeing how families in different parts of the world celebrate Christmas and or the winter season. This book, Somewhere in the World Right Now, is all about time and routines that families go through. And it's really cool because as you're going through this book and you're going to different countries, all of the things that people are doing are happening at the same time. So you can be in London, Uganda, Siberia, Sydney, the jungle, Chicago, Honduras, China, and so on. And you are all seeing actions that are happening at the same time in different time zones text to world connection. Remember, you can make a connection from just a portion of a book too. In the book, what if everybody did that? There is a part that talks about what if everyone drops a piece of trash on the ground? The text to world connection I can make from that would be how pollution has affected people in the past and also how it affects people, plants, and animals currently right now. That's it for today. 
Drop in the comments what text to world connections your readers made. And until next time, stay positive, stay confident, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.